Data Pit of Texas, Rich Robin here. We are going to go over a Gladiator model that just pulled out my shop today, a Gladiator model on my website at GatorPit.net. You'll see it at GatorPit.net. It is called the Gladiator. Did I say Gladiator? Yes, the Gladiator. All right, what you have here is a vertical smoker. And yes, it is a smoker, okay? It does have a firebox directly below the food chamber, but the firebox has adjustable baffles in there that are adjusted left and right, and they spread apart between the baffles, and they're also removable. So that, that design actually makes this pit, even though it has a, a, a direct firebox below the food chamber, function like an offset smoker, like the firebox would be over here, right? That would make it an offset. Well, the, in, the way the internal design is, it is still an offset smoker. It's gonna cook just like an offset smoker. What you're gonna get is a large cooking capacity and a smaller footprint with this design. So instead of having a six, eight foot long smoker that would have this equivalent cooking capacity to this vertical smoker, you're, you're, you now have cut down all that space that it's gonna take up, all that footprint, right? And you would need a good six, seven foot cooker to get the space that this one has, okay? We got dual gator pit commercial gauges. They can be recalibrated if you knock them out of whack or they get knocked out of whack over time, over use, opening, closing, slamming the door, you can recalibrate my gator pit gauges. They've got the nice color codes in here for your temperatures. They got the gator logo. You got the nice gator pit commercial gauge. They can be recalibrated if you knock them out of whack over, over time of use or somebody slamming your door too hard. You can recalibrate these gauges, okay? They are and they're removable. You got your gator badging. On both sides here, you got the Gator Pit of Texas made in the USA badging there. And you got, of course, what I'm mostly known for, most people love, is the stainless steel Gator with the GatorPit.net etched into it. And then the Gator details that are in here as well as the tail and, and the, uh, uh, all that wonderful detail that's in there, the teeth and the eyes. Anyway, let's get back to the pit. You've got stainless steel handles on all your doors. We've got dual stainless steel handles on the, on the, on the food chamber, the smoke chamber. We got a single stainless steel handle on the lower firebox section. You do have a sliding air vent. We call these the diamond slides, okay? Opens and closes and everywhere in between, really easy, right? All this is quarter inch thick steel. Your doors are flanged all the way around. They're flanged on the firebox door as well. You got these heavy quarter inch two by three legs on here. Quarter inch thick legs, two by three uh, rectangle tubing, okay? Beefy, strong, heavy, and of course our commercial casters that we're known for and we do have the foot brakes on the Gladiator. Push it off, push it on, okay? That's simple. This customer did opt and he added a drop down side table. This is nice for putting your meat on. You can use it for cutting, cutting board, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, it's just an, uh, an extra uh, place to put stuff when you're working your barbecue pit. Now I will say this, because some of y'all that, that are look, paying attention to detail may say, well, the door swings out to the left why is this shelf over here? Because if the door's open, you can't easily access it. Normally, we put the shelf on this side, okay? But this customer added our gas system to it. So with all the gas components on this side, we couldn't put a large enough shelf that would drop on this side. We, have, we had to fabricate it on that side. But normally, the drop-down shelf is on this side. We don't put the gas on that side because it's not quite as safe as it is on this side because your door swings out and you want to be able to ignite it here as opposed to having to deal with your door and trying to access your burner like this, okay? So that's the explanation as to why the shelf's on this side when the door's open. Inside, fully flanged doors, quarter inch thick steel. You see the flanging here, you see the drip bars of the flanging on the inside top and bottom, and then you see the reinforcement and the drip bars on the firebox door as well. Notice all this quarter inch thick flat bar here. Reinforce that door so that door doesn't warp over heat and then wind up gapping and leaking smoke, right? Leaking heat. Down below, you've got a sliding ash pan, hangs in place, framed out in quarter inch thick steel flat bar or, or uh, straps. Then you've got your heavy duty fire grate quarter inch thick steel framed out in angles. These are one and a half inch angles. Let me go ahead and pull it out and show you how beefy this thing is. Look at the crossbars on there. That's to keep it from warping and sagging under intense heat. 
and you have your gas igniter in here, your burner, okay? There is a drain underneath this ash pan. There's a drain down there. You can pull that cap off that drain and you can hose it out, flush it out, okay? We make it as easy as possible to clean out, but the ash pan down there below catches pretty much most of uh, uh, the ash that burns down there uh, from, the, from the fire grate, okay? But you're gonna get some re residual ash that's gonna be, that's gonna fly around and get down to the bottom of it so you're able to clean it out real easy. It comes with four sliding meat racks. Four sliding meat racks. And you notice there's a lot of space here, a lot of clearance between these racks. You can get the big pieces of meat in there and not have to take the top rack out. Your big old briskets, your big old butts, uh, your big uh, uh, turkeys and, and uh, uh, chickens, whole chickens. You can get those down here, okay? Notice this rack, that's a rib rack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven racks of ribs on one food rack. Seven racks of ribs would normally, depending on how big those racks are, you might only get four across there, right? So he's almost doubling his cooking capacity. All right, depending on the size ribs, he could triple his cooking capacity. This is the extra food tray that actually replaces that rib rack. So he's got the four flat rack standard and he added the additional rib rack. It's a great feature if you're cooking a lot of ribs and don't want to have to take up a lot of your cooking space on the flat racks. So now I can do seven racks of ribs in here, still get my butts and chickens and, and briskets on these other racks and sausage and other meats. All right, a lot of cooking capacity in a very small, very small footprint, right? Dual birdhouse stacks with stainless steel cool touch handles on them. Gator Pit's well-known birdhouse stacks. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. That's everything on the inside, guys. Here how solid that is. I've already explained the shelf. You've got our heavy-duty hinges. Notice how heavy these are compared to a lot of the competitors that are making these cabinet-style smokers. They use a, a either what they call barrel hinge, which is a really small barrel hinge on these, or they'll use 3H round bar to make their hinges. We use half inch round bar and half inch pipe. Schedule 80 pipe. Thick, thick, thick pipe, guys. You won't have hinge issues with my gator pits. We got push pull handles, so you can easily roll this thing around. And I, I roll this out for my shop by myself. You can roll this pit on a, on a hard surface. It's not gonna go across grass, but you can roll it on a hard surface. I'll walk you around to the side so you can see the side gas system and you'll see the, uh, the propane tank holder. There's a removable propane tank holder in the rear of this. Uh, if you don't want to use it, you need to roll this thing, move it around, take the tank holder off, move it, store it, whatever you want to do with it, all right? But that tank holder is removable. Again, all quarter inch thick steel, fully flanged doors, a drop down side shelf, carry push pull handles, all your stainless steel handles on the doors, your gator pit commercial gauges, your gator badges, your dual birdhouse stacks, your sliding ash pan, your four sliding meat racks, your sliding rib rack is optional, the gas is optional, the shelf is optional. Everything else that you see though is gonna be standard and you'll see that at my website for the Gladiator, gatorpit.net, click on the Gladiator in my backyard section, okay? I'm gonna walk the camera around and let you look at the rear of it where you see the, where you'll see the gas system and the tank holder. There's your valve, your brass valve, ball valve. Control your flame, a quick connect regulator hose, and your rear tank holder. That is removable, it's clip on. And now you can see the foot brakes pretty well. But look at the custom quality of this. Everything's straight, squared, level. Grinded down, buffed out. Beautiful, beautiful Gator Pit craftsmanship. Nice and smooth, guys. Drop down shelf, beautiful, beautiful construction. That pit's getting delivered. I'm about to leave and go drop it off at this guy's house. That is a Texas 1845, guys, my new Texas 1845. Just came out yesterday, you'll see it on my website, gatorpit.net, already sold one. Just came out of the shop yesterday and sold. That fast, guys, that's Gator Pit, man. People want them, high demand for them. That's why you wait for them. 
Here's my contact information. Give me a call, Rich Robin. Let me know what I can do for you. Look at our other models on our website at GatorPit.net. I've got a lot of custom models out there. Check them out. Let me know what you're interested in. Give me a call. Be happy to answer any questions you got. You can email me, info at GatorPit.net. Beautiful pit. I'll open up doors, let you look at it. Get you a good shot of the inside. There's your racks, your flanging on the internal, your internal flanging. You also have the door flanging, but there you go, guys. Beautiful. That is the Gladiator model. This model's become turned, I think, eight or nine of these out of my shop that have been on order or that were ordered just in the past actually month. Eight or nine of these came out the shop in the past month. Three alone went out just last week. A very popular pit with Gator Pit right now. And the reason being is you're getting a lot of cooking capacity in a small footprint. Doesn't take up a lot of your patio. Doesn't take up a lot of a trail of a lot on a trailer if you're if you're taking this to a cook off. Okay? Uh, great pit. Get you two full-size foil pans on there. I want to mention that. Two full-size foil pans that fit here. Seven racks of ribs on a rib rack. Very nice smoker. Will hold a lot of meat. On one rack alone, you're talking at least three briskets. Depending on how many pounds those briskets are, I can get three briskets on here. If they're, if they're a little smaller briskets, I can get four. Depending on how I put them in there, right? But I can get four in there like that. Now, you get them big old honkers, then you're going to get three on there. All right, three. Uh, butts. Man, I can get a lot of butts on here. We're talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can get at least six butts on, on one rack. Six butts on one rack times four racks, guys. Six butts times four racks. A lot of butts on here. Again, this is a popular cooker for the backyard. And if you got a restaurant, and need to add a, an extra cooker to it, this is a good, good deal for a restaurant, man. Relatively inexpensive, cooks a lot of meat, takes up a small footprint, and we also have them designed where you can insert them into the wall. So the back's outside, and all you see when you're standing in your kitchen is the front door access doors. All right, the rest of the cooker's out back, okay? All kinds of different designs I have. Customers put these in outdoor kitchens at their house. Pretty cool for being outdoor kitchen. All right, that's all I got to say, man. Give me a call, 713-896-0144. Shoot me an email, info at gator.net. Go to my website at Gator Pit. I'm Rich Robin. I'm the owner and founder of Gator Pit Custom Barbecue Pits. I have been in business since the early 19, since 90s, since 1991, actually. I uh, started the company in 1991. I started building barbecue pits when I was 14 years old. I'm 53 years old as of this video. I've been doing this a very long time. I've been on History Channel, Discovery Channel, uh, Destination America, a King of the Grill episode. Uh, I've been written up in articles about my company all around the world, guys. Google GatorPit.net or Google Gator Pit Barbecue Pit, and you will find a lot of information on my company and myself as well. Uh, uh, you won't find bad information on us at all, man. Just do your research, search your pit builders, look and see who's the best fit for your budget and your wants and your needs. And contact Gator Pit. Give us a shot. Let us know what you want and, and let, us, let us see what we can do for you, man. We may not be the cheapest in town, you know, uh, but I tell you what, we got the best quality in town, without a doubt. And you can Google that and find that out yourself. Uh, see ya.